Hello, Elizabeth Bay reporting from Lima, Peru at COP20. Today is Tuesday. We're into the final week of negotiations. Today was the opening of the what's called the high-level segment. That meant that, believe it or not, the first speaker in the high-level segment was our own Canadian Minister of Environment, Leona Agluka, who delivered a basically a medley of uh, PMO greatest hits, uh, predictable talking points about climate change. The amazing thing is that while Leona Agluka was repeating the we have a sector by sector approach, Stephen Harper in Ottawa in question period was demolishing one of his own policies, announcing that he had no intention, in fact, that it would be crazy. That's his words, crazy. He used crazy twice in 30 seconds in describing following through on his own commitment to regulate the oil and gas sector. Here in Lima, Peru, it's been the provinces who have done Canada proud. The Ontario Minister of Environment, Glenn Murray, Quebec Minister of Environment, David Hertel, even British Columbia's Minister of Environment, Mary Pollock, I have to say I disagree with her on LNG being a good thing for climate, but she's done a really great job in telling jurisdictions around the world that it made sense to tax carbon in British Columbia and it made sense to make it revenue neutral. And Glenn Murray gave an excellent presentation on the costs of doing nothing about climate change. There are now a lot of deals being done between Canadian provinces and U.S. states whether California, Montana, Oregon, or what's referred to as the Reggie states from New England. So here in Peru, the world is moving to climate action. The negotiations are difficult. I still don't know if there's reason for optimism about next year in Paris, where a global deal must be done to achieve the reductions we need to avoid runaway global warming. But I can tell you this. Canada's role here at the federal level is an embarrassment, and the only times I can feel really great about being a Canadian are when our provincial ministers speak up. As the only opposition member of Parliament here, I wish my colleagues were here from other opposition parties. We have a lot of work to do before next year, December 2015, in Paris, to do a real agreement to reduce greenhouse gases. The mood here, I have to say, is pretty optimistic. I hope that optimism is well placed. Delegates are meeting now and will be negotiating till late tonight. For the Green Party of Canada, this is Elizabeth May reporting from Lima, Peru. Good night.